on a whim. Medical emergency, now they are taking seconds off of getting into your trunk. I know a lot of people are like, you know, well, it's just a matter of having a sharp object to get those straps off of the door. But again, seconds save lives. What's good, everybody, and welcome back <laughs> to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. Yo, hit that play button. You know what I'm saying? We just here, just chilling. Yo, we bring it to you all over here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. We're here today with another Truckers Reaction video for you today. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to this. Wait, this right here? This right here? Right? Here. It's going to be somewhere on the screen. Somewhere right here, maybe. I don't know. I'll put it up after I get into the editing part. But y'all know what it's going to be about. Look, man. Ladies, 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 ladies. Trucker ladies, listen, even though this man followed this young lady to her apartment building, they do the same out here in these truck stops, yo. You know what I'm saying? They do the same out here in these truck stops. Look, let me tell you something. I'm not here to tell you what to do, how to do, when to do, what you do. You do what you do. But if you don't want attention... Don't call for it, especially when you be pulling up here at night, it, at night or even during the day at these truck stops. These guys be looking, they be searching, they be hawking, they be thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, this is not a, a, a trucker lady, but it does happen, you know. So this young lady was on her way home. She walked it, you know, she walked you know, around the way, got up into her building, and all of a sudden this dude from nowhere just came into the building and stalked her, ran right to the door and tried and, and try to force his way in. That's how these that's how some of these guys be in the trucking in, in this trucking sphere. Now not to say that it happens, but who say that it won't happen? You know? You be on your way coming back to the cut, dude to come from up under the up under the up under the trailer or whatever, whatever. He'll be sliding right up in there and then boom, stick his hand in there and 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 there you have it. You know, there you have it. Be careful, trucker ladies. You know, like when y'all have your windows open, you know, we had these vet windows. Sometimes they can spray some stuff up there that'll knock you out, knockout spray. Or they'll, they'll spray something that'll, that'll force you to unlock the door. And then they'll come up here and do whatever they do to you. You know what I'm saying? You need to be protected. All right? All right? Just, just be protected. All right? I saw this one video about the guy showing the, showing the hook. Let me show you. Have a rope or something like this. All right. So you get your hook or your rope, whatever you have. You put it through your horn just like that. You lower your window, make it get stuck like that. So now if someone tries to open the door, this is what's gonna happen. Bam. This will most likely scare anyone off and you'll be awake. So those are two things you can do to stay safe while staying somewhere sketchy on the road. Share this with someone that stays on the road. So you see how you just did that? What you do is just go and get you a little, you know, a little rubber bungee from the truck stops. They sell them everywhere. And basically what you do, you just, you know, put it up in your window and hook it up on your on your truck line. But see, that's good in a sense, okay? But don't forget, you have two doors. <laughs> you know, somebody that wants to get in on the other side of the door, you know, that don't have that, that might be, you know, they might be able to get up in there. Now, I know you guys like to do the seatbelt thing, you know, put the seatbelt over the door and, and, and secure it and all like that. But that could be a hazard for you guys, okay? And what I mean by a hazard is if you have any type of emergency or you need some type of emergency, 
How would they be able to get up in here to take care of you in an emergency if you have the seatbelts tied up to your doors? I'm just saying. All right. I'm just saying. This is a good idea. All right. But sometimes the air horn is on the steering wheel. And then some air horns, like in the T680s, it's in the middle of the it's it's in the middle of the dashboard. So this is a good idea. And I'm not saying that this isn't a good idea, but I'm just saying, you know, it might be all right, I guess. I don't know. This video is creepy for anyone coming home, whether it's day or night. But this woman tells me that she knew something was up as she approached her building at two in the morning. She saw the guy from the corner of her eye, but she was not expecting him to come into the building and then try to barge into her apartment. The video is terrifying. Hey, yo, it was just a matter of seconds. He was literally like one second from going inside. Today, this brave woman, still shaking, finding the courage to speak out about that day as she arrived home from work around two in the morning. There was two guys in the, two guys like outside, right? And they were just like looking suspicious. You see her walking into the building, cautiously eyeing a man on the side. Seconds later, that same man in the white tank top walks into the Sherman Avenue building behind her. She knew he was up to no good. Miss, miss. He, he followed me inside the building and he said, miss, miss, twice. She describes the horrifying moment seen in this video as a suspect accesses the lobby. Seconds later, the woman knew he was around the corner and she quickly tried to open her apartment lock. Her instincts spot on. Hey, yo, miss. He came right after her, determined to get inside. Okay. I came inside, and then right away I just screamed, somebody's following me. Like, he was literally one second from coming inside. As she watches this video, she knows she was very lucky. I feel very scared. Like, I was, I was, I was saying, what if? What if I had the top door locked? What if? Like, it was literally just one second. If I had the top lock, I could, he could have got of me. Yeah, what if? Well, she is truly lucky, and the victim has been living here for 29 years, and she says she's never... This video is creepy for... Any well, this young lady right here is in her 50s, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, she was just coming home from work, you know, a little bit late, you know, it was around 2 in the morning, so she's, she's coming off of work, she's tired and everything, and all of a sudden, she, her, her senses, her spidey senses just went off, like, yo, do 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 do. So, what she started to do, she started to pick up the pace, you know what I'm saying? Started to pick up the pace, and then, you know, she got her keys out, so she's doing a whole bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? She's getting ready. She already got her keys in her hand. She's picking up the pace. She already knew that that guy was up to no good. So when she came, opened up the door, bam, bam, boom. And what this dude trying to do, man? What what he what, what he trying to do? You know what I'm saying? Then he going to knock at the door. Hey, miss. Hey, miss. And then he going to holler for somebody's name. Hey, bro, open up the door. And then you and and then you see him like or like on the side on the side like she's gonna actually open up the door bro but it's scary though man it's scary though number one he knows where you at sweetheart that's already messed up he could still probably be at large be careful ladies be careful and look at this dude like yo miss, miss but yeah you know, the problem is, my dude, you, you already messed up. You you messed up big time. Number one, you, you're on camera, my G. You're already out there, crime stoppers, looking for you. Hopefully you won't try to do this shit to nobody else, man, because you're going to get snatched. You want to turn around, fellas, I'm telling you, you know, you're going to turn around and do this to the wrong lady. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all going to do this to the wrong lady, bro. The wrong lady. You know, and then your family going to be, your family going to be on the same TV station talking about, oh, he was a good boy. He was a good guy. He wouldn't hurt nobody. But yet we got him on, we got him on video trying to snatch up this lady, man. What's your problem, dude? What is up? 
with these guys. Same thing. Look, ladies, you know, like I said, trucker ladies, be careful. Be careful out here, all right? Be careful. Have your keys in your hand. Have some type of protection in your hand when you're walking back and forth from the truck stop to your truck. Be vigilant. Make sure you have your head on the swivel. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you know, just, you know, be be vigilant. I got one more video, and my girl is going to come in and tell you uh, her opinion about what you ladies should be watching out for in these trust stops. Yeah, I want to talk about a topic that's very controversial in trucking, and it is how females can remain safe out on the road. I did see the video of the young guy telling uh, female drivers to put a bungee cord through the air horn of the truck, slide it through the window, and should that driver door open, the air horn would go off. However, the truck has two doors, all right? If a person really wants to get into your truck, they can. One, all trucks have master keys. Two, there is a thing where they could spray something into the vents of your truck that will keep you sleeping longer. Sliding your seat belts through the handles of your truck doors is not a guarantee that they can't get into your truck because if you've been driving for 10 to 11 hours and you are a heavy sleeper, by the time they open that door and cut those straps, they're in your truck. Should there be a fire in your truck or a medical emergency that is keeping you from getting out? Because you have to process things when you are just woken up out of your sleep uh, on a whim. Medical emergency, now they are taking seconds off of getting into your truck. I know a lot of people are like, you know, well, it's just a matter of having a sharp object to get those straps off of the door. But again, seconds save lives. I've been out here three years and um, I am aware that things can happen out on the road. My suggestion is pull into the truck stops early as possible while the sun is still up. Park as closely as you can to the truck stop. Avoid back roads and dark corners. Ladies, stop being approachable. You know, it's okay to say hello, but showing all 32 is a big no-no. Keeping eye contact with everyone. Never appear weak. I get it. We all were raised in different environments. The environment that I was raised in was a little more active. I can hear gunshots and someone being stabbed on the side of my truck and I won't wake up. But I do know that pepper spray and a knee to the balls is my friend. So I would definitely say let's just do a better job at policing the truck stops in the rest areas, okay? Let's be our brother and sister's keeper. You know what I mean? If you see a driver got out of a pulled in and got out of a truck, make sure that's the same driver that got into that truck. You know what I'm saying? If something doesn't look right, something doesn't feel right, say something. And to you weirdo drivers, you know who you are. Alright, if you see a female driver pull up on the side of you, you know. Don't make her feel uncomfortable or make her feel like she has to now pull off to go and find another safe space because you're sitting there scratching your balls butt naked. In the meantime, ladies, do what you feel you must do to stay safe. We all have our different ideas of how to stay safe. Shout out to Pamela, baby. Yes, sir, Pamela, baby. Make sure you check her out on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. She is correct, man. Look, ladies, this part where she say stop being approachable is is fact. We know that you want to be out here. We know that you want to look nice. We know that you don't want to look all all bit birtherish. We want we want you to be nice. We want you to be presentable, but be respectable be uh dressable you know because no telling where you park at who's looking who's lurking who's being reared just be careful again like i said you know when you have something in your hand rather it's a tire thumper mace a taser or whatever so that you can be protected at all times keep your head on the swivel at all times because there might be somebody lurking make sure when you come back to your truck you do a walk around water walk around the rig all right walk around the entire wait 
walk around the entire rig from front to back top to bottom look up under your trailer make sure that nobody's up under there or anything of the fact you know if you have one of them uh if you have one of them work lights on the back of your tractor make sure you turn that on and you will be all right okay make sure that your doors is locked at all times and just uh and just be secure you know shut your curtains and boom you're good to go and again like pamela said you weird old drivers out there man stop being weird stop acting like you ain't never seen a female before my g come on now stop acting like you ain't never seen a female before that's the that's you guys problems y'all act like y'all ain't never been y'all ain't never seen a female before stop that stop that you know, female park next to you and all like that, and you sitting up in your seat with your with your shit out, just banging and banging and all like that. Shirt the curtains, yo. Nobody don't want to see that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for the Lockout Man podcast show for today. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like, if you guys like content like this, man, make sure you hit. I mean, hit that like button. It helps, it works, it does the channel good. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. And if you like videos like this and more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification for more videos like this. Make sure you follow my girl, Pamela, baby. Make sure you follow my girl, Pamela, baby, on Instagram and on YouTube. She has a nice little, a nice little talk show that she does every thursday and make sure you follow her on instagram all right all right until next time everybody y'all take it easy and i'll come back at you with another one peace one resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire i got bronchitis ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for that